We're here with um, the two of the Neil Pride team riders, Andy Bumble Chambers and Brian Metcalf Perez. These guys are going to give us some top tips on how to rig the Firefly for uh, freestyle. Plenty of ways to rig the Firefly. Um, you can rig it for more wave sailing, but today we're just going to show you how you can rig it for freestyle and the way for the sail to best perform for ducking and doing the new school moves. Usually the specs are recommended to be 4 centimeter extension. Um, I usually go and add 2 to every sail for the extension so the sail sits a little bit higher on the mast and I think it makes for a little bit easier ducking for when you're out sailing. Right, this is the Neil Pride X9 boom that we were using for um, rigging up the sail. Uh, the X9 boom is full carbon, really really stiff and it's this new S shape which means it's very narrow, um, which makes it really nice for sort of ducking the sail uh, when we're doing all the freestyle moves. So when I'm doing my downhaul, I like to put a bowl in in the line to make it easier to pull everything down. That way, you don't have to use a hook or any kind of downhaul device. So my favorite thing about a Neil Pride extension is the fact that you can just stick the rope right into the bottom of the mast. It makes it so much easier. There's no messing around of tying it around a hundred times and just makes it so much faster and you get on the water that much more quickly. <laughs> Firefly, the way that I adjust my outhaul is I will set it to the specs and pull the sail out. And a lot of the time you can just check by feel and you want to see how much pressure you can put until the sail is touching the boom. But for me the most important part is where the battens are resting on the mast. So I'll put my tension on and I'll come over and I'll check where these battens are actually resting on the mast. I like to have this bottom batten resting right in the middle of the mast and I think that um, for me is where the sail works at its best. For freestyle, I really like to have a really tight leech, so the sail is um, a lot more stable that way. Because when you have a loose leech, there's a lot more material and it gets a lot uh, more floppy and unpredictable. So the harness line setup, for the most part, is a lot to do with personal preference. I mean, obviously the harness lines need to be set so the sail is balanced, but when it comes to length, and when it comes to how far apart you have the lines, it's all personal preference. For me, I like to have a gap in between my harness lines so I can grab in between the lines really easily and have my hand right in the middle of the sail for doing one-handed tricks like shakas. So for me, that's the way I like to do it. Some guys ride them really close together like this to make the lines longer. Yeah, for me, as a personal thing, I do actually prefer having my lines closer together like this. Um, if I need to do the one-handed shakas, because my lines are a little bit further forward, it means I can have my hands just behind them. Um, I just prefer having them closer together. To me, it feels like I, it, I get a bit more stability out of the sail once I'm hooked in. Um, when I have them set wider apart, I feel like the sail moves around a lot more when I'm hooked in. I mean, you can't be afraid to come in and make adjustments. I feel like a lot of people will just go out and just use the sail no matter how it feels. And if you want your sail to be riding at its best, then it's always good to come in and make a couple adjustments and then see how it works for you and go from there. Cool guys, thanks for your time. Thanks. Cheers.